Zoom Pizza in Mountain View, California is not your run-of-the-mill pizzeria. You're not gonna find any surly chefs tossing dough or slopping sauce around here, namely because people have very little to do with the actual production process. Instead, the company relies on an array of robots, machine learning AI, and ovens packed right into the trucks themselves to ensure that every delivery arrives piping hot. When it comes to making food, it really has to come from the heart. You know, food is made with love. And I think as a customer or somebody who eats pizza, you can understand really great pizza from kind of okay pizza. And the difference really comes in how much sort of like care and love goes into the making of that food. So when we look at the job of cooking or the occupation of being a chef, we find so many places where human beings are much better than robots. Human beings are better at taste testing. Human beings are better at recipe development, produce selection. Robots are great at repetitive tasks like moving pizza in and out of an 800 degree oven a thousand times a day. So the goal is not end-to-end -end automation because that's not what's gonna create better food for the customer. And at Zoom, we're a food company first and foremost. The technology exists to serve the food. The process starts with Zoom's latest robotic chef, the Doughbot. This machine presses a ball of pizza dough into its circular shape before a pair of sauce extruders named Pepe and Giorgio slather the dough with marinara or Alfredo sauce before a fourth robot named Marta spreads it around evenly. The only step in the process that actually requires a human is the application of toppings. And once that's complete, a six axis robotic arm will pick the pizza up and feed it into the oven before Leonardo the chopping bot automatically cuts the pizza into eight even slices. The exercise in having a cobot line or a human robot collaborative line is really in making sure that the human steps um, can flow sort of seamlessly into the robotic steps. But the automation actually decreases bottlenecks it increases throughput, it creates more efficiency, fewer defects, and fewer errors in the system. Now, unlike traditional pizza shops, Zoom only partially cooks its pizzas the first time around, but will then fire them again when they're nearly at your door. The company relies on a fleet of UPS-sized delivery trucks, each equipped with up to 56 tiny ovens that will blast each pie with 800 degree heat for the final four minutes before it pulls up to your house. The process is controlled by predictive algorithms using GPS data to make sure that each pie is properly cooked. Even here, there is minimal human interaction with the food. Whenever a pie is finished cooking, it pops out of the oven like a CD ejected from a car stereo directly into the company's specially designed box ready for you to eat. We're building the platform so that at scale, we can partner with other food brands that might want to add a stir-fry robot or a chopped salad robot. So the platform will certainly be robust enough to accommodate that kind of diversity. Right now, we're just hyper-focused on pizza. Robotic chefs like these are currently the exception, but they could very well soon become the norm. We're already seeing robots and automation seep into the food preparation industry, such as the Miso Robotic Burger Flipper, Flippy, or Cafe X in San Francisco, which offers a fully automated coffee bar. So as we see the costs associated with employing these sorts of robots that perform automation continue to decrease, especially in jobs that people find boring, monotonous, repetitive, or even dangerous, we're only gonna see more and more robots like Zoom Pizzas enter the workforce.